Alright, so now actually let's make something that's useful and actually does something. Um, so I thought we would just come up with, with a, a project to do, something real simple. So I've decided, why don't we select all cities that are inside of the United States and make a feature layer out of that. So the end pro product will just be the cities in the U.S. Now how we would do that in ArcGIS, we would want to just select, or from from this shapefile, just select the United States. So, I'm going to open this up. You can see US is selected, and we would want to make a feature layer out of this. And then just do a select by location, the cities that are within this, the new feature layer that's just the US. So that's basically the same thing that we're going to do in the, arc, in, the uh, in the script, but it's just a little bit different. So we can actually get rid of all this. Now we just want to create new variables of those two shapefiles. So we're going to create a points shape. You can call these variables whatever you want, but points equals, and this is just going to be a path, a, a absolute path to that point. Those points, the cities, populated places. Copy that. Paste, and then we're going to make a variable of the countries. Same thing, just go to arc. Now it's better to do it in arc when you're working with shapefiles because it knows just to copy this shapefile here. If you were to do it in, well actually never mind, it's better when you're working with feature classes and databases to do it this way, but it would be the same in, in Windows Explorer. But just copy that, paste it. All right, so now our script put those two things into variables. Now, since we want to do a select by location, we're going to need to turn these variables into layers, into feature layers, the same way we were going to we would do it in ArcMap. So to do that, we're just going to go back to this website, and I have it pulled up. It's called Make Feature Layer Management. So this is the ArcPy function, and these are the parameters. So I'm just going to copy the name of it. And again, we since this is part of the ArcPy module, we have to write that first. So this kind of tells it where is it getting it from. All right, we want to use something in ArcPy called, it's called Make Feature Layer Management, and then it takes some parameters. The parameters it takes are in features, out layer, where clause. All right, so the in features, we're going to want to make a layer out of both of these, actually. So let's just, all right, first the in features, we'll make the points one. It's just going to be points. You need to separate these by commas. Out layer, this is just a name. You want to make this temporary layer. So when we turn these into layers, it's not going to make a new feature class in our folder. It's just going to kind of make a temporary layer that we can work with. So I'm just going to call that points layer. All right, uh, do the same thing for countries. Countries layer. Now, since I mentioned earlier, we're going to want to select just the United States. So we, we kind of need to make a selection already. We, we want to limit this country's shapefile to just the United States. So what you can do when you make the layer you can put a where clause in here. So we could, so here it's saying we're making a feature layer from countries, calling it countries layer, and now we want to further um, specify what we want. So if we go back to here, you'll see where clause. So we want to say where something equals the United States. So we have to get uh, whatever this field is called. So open up the attribute table, you can see a lot of things say United States, United States, but I think there's one called name, yeah, name. So we want to select, um, make a layer out of this where name equals United States. So that's kind of how you have to think of this. So we need to type that in carefully. If you go back to here, you'll see there should be, there's some syntax for how to use this. You have to, it's kind of tricky. Um, 
Yeah, make feature aware clause. I was on the site earlier, so there's this is what I'm looking for. So this is the syntax needed to put that where clause in. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right. So where we need to change this to name equals United States. Spelled exactly how that fee or uh, how the feature has it. Okay, so what we have now is a layer of all the points and a layer of just the United States, which is what we want. Now we just want to do our select by location, same way we would do it in Arc. So Arc Pi, we want to use select by location. So it's not just select by location; it's some other. There's something else. It's called select layer by location management. So we'll just copy that. Paste it. Now let's look at those parameters real fast. In layer, so what do we want to select? We want to select cities. So notice it says in layer. So that meet so some tools you need to use layers and select by layer by location is one of them. That's why we had to make these layers. Some tools you don't need you can just use those variables. You can just use these, but some of them require layers. So, where'd that go? Our in layer, in layer is going to be the cities layer. That's what we want to select. We want to select so points. It's called points layer. Points layer. Separate each parameter by a comma. Overlap type, okay. So it, this is great, this uh, documentation it makes it easy. So overlap layers, what do we want to do? So we want, we're just going to use within. So this is just the selection type. We can use intersect within, contains. We're just going to select points that are within. And to do that, you need to put it in quotes. And the, I'm pretty sure it needs to be all caps. So or, what are we gonna, we're going to do within within, that's the selection type, separate by comma, within, and it's going to be within this layer, countries, or no, uh, countries layer, countries layer. Alright, so now we have a selection, so just imagine in ARC a selection of points that are within the countries layer. Now we need to export that selection to a feature class. To do that, there's something called a feature layer to feature layer conversion or something. Is the it's the function we're gonna have to use. Um, yeah, feature class to feature class. So this will take a layer, which is what we have now. We have a, a selection, and it's gonna turn that selection layer into an actual feature class. And this is what that syntax looks like. Um, in features, out path, out path name, and those are the only three parameters we're gonna use. Um, you can see these three are required and the others are all optional. So we have to provide it with input feature, a path to the output, and a name for it. Alright, so arcpy, because it needs to know where is this coming from. So from arcpy, from that package, there's a function called feature class to feature class conversion. So we're going to use that. What is going to be the input? Points layer. So points layer kind of holds, like, it changes from here. It was just all the points, and now it made a selection. And points layer, as of right now, is that selection. So that's what we want. Um, out path. So we need to provide it with a path. So let's just call this out, make a new variable called out path equals. Um, let's just go. Outputs. That's going to be where we want it to output. So copy that path, paste it, and now you can just pop in that variable there. Out path. Uh, this this just means it wants there to be a space after. It's just like the like correct syntax for Python. It's not critical. Uh, out name. So this is just a name you want to give it. So let's just call it cities in U.S. Now I'm not sure if I need to provide that dot shape. I don't think I need to. So let's just try. All right, let's close this. I might need to be closed before we run it. 
let's just watch. Uh, all right, we're going to watch this outputs folder. And as we run this, it should output a new shapefile called Cities in the US, and it should be a selection. So let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, looks like it worked. So now let's go open up Arc and take a look, pull it in, and see if it's what we expected. All right, tutorial, outputs. That looks like the US to me. All right, so that was just a quick example of how, well, actually, it wasn't a quick, I, I kind of dragged it on, but um, that's how you can accomplish something like that in Arc, in script, in uh, Python. So that's what it takes to do something simple like that. Um, now, again, this wasn't super useful because, yeah, you could just do this in Arc map really quickly or much quicker, and it doesn't seem as confusing, but um, trust me, this has, has its benefits, especially when you want to loop through tons, tons of features and do not just one thing, but, you know, a sh uh, uh, multiple things after subsequent steps, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I think I should cut off the video here. We'll uh, start to, or actually, let's, I'll just go over this one more time, kind of step by step what we were doing. So we imported the package, um, which gives us access to all those arc functions. Then we created three variables, a points variable, which is the shapefile of the points, the countries, and then the out path, and then we just took advantage of these functions. So this is basically you can read it. It's very um, readable. It's we made feature layers out of these two things, and then selected by location the points layer within the countries layer, and then turned that selection into an actual feature class. Um, so yeah, that was that was that. Um, yeah, looking forward to doing the next video. See you guys.